Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. Are you ready for part two? If you didn't listen to part one yet, go back and do that first. All right, let's go. You're speaking to Mr. Bentley. Uh, hi, Mr. Bentley. I'm sorry, Mr. Call. Uh, you... I went out for a walk and I didn't take my phone with me. Oh, I see. <coughs> oh, you went to exercise to get some exercise. Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. All right, I'm happy you called, all right? So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have the bank contact you and so you can uh, see how much money is available in the account, all right? Oh, okay. All right, so uh, stay near the phone and uh, the bank will give you a call shortly. Okay. And I will, uh, after that, I will... Is for uh, the the government state approval. Okay. All oh, this is so exciting. It's very uh, complex, isn't it? Yes, it's a it's a lot of money, and I do appreciate you getting it. Oh, I can't hear anything. Hello, hello. I can't hear anything. Me now. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, I can. Are you hearing me better now? Yes. Very good. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm saying that I'm happy you were the one that would. All right, so the bank will call you. Look out for their call in a short while, all right? Stay I'll... near the phone. Okay, I'll I will. Keep the phone on you. Yes, sir. Hello? Hi there, uh, how are you? This is Dennis McAllister. This is Helen, Mary Helen. Uh, yes. Hi there. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm um, good. Okay. This is Kevin McAllister here from Morgan Stanley Financial Department. Uh, yes, sir. Um, so we do have uh, a pending transfer here from um, regard to the uh, prize that you have won. Um, so you do familiar with um, Mr. Uh, what's his name? Mr. Bentley? Yes, Mr. Bentley. Okay. So he's, he's the person that you've been, uh, you've been talking to, right? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Um, so we just actually um, have everything processed here now. So we are, I'm just going to actually go ahead and check the account that you can hear what's available here. It was actually sent here um, and it's available this morning um, and placed on hold until further information. So I just wanted to make sure that you, you hear it. Okay. So I can, oh. I can if you hold the line, mm -hmm. check it for you. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Just hold the line if you're saying All right. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Morgan Family Bank. Please enter your debit card account or your user ID, followed by the pound key. Please enter your four-digit pin, followed by the pound key. Please hold while I retrieve your account information. Mary Ellen, account number ending with 9094, have an available balance of $3,500,000 and is now placed on hold for further detail. To hear this information again, press 0 or press 1 for the main menu. Press 2 to hear your account history. Press 3 to speak to a customer service representative or please hang up. Okay, are you still there? Yes. All right, so you uh, you heard the the, uh, the balance? Yes, I did. Okay, all right, so we're just going to actually go through the processing um, as soon as we, as soon as you've improved by the Federal Reserve Board, um, they will actually give us to go ahead and they will be able to, to take the, the hold off the account and we may have to write a check out you as soon as uh, as everything has been confirmed, okay? Oh, wonderful. Yes, and let me say congratulations to you once more and wish you all the best on the prize that you want. Well, thank you so much. I'm just, I'm just so excited. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, it, 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 um, anyone had it, um, and this is a wonderful gift. Um, you know, it, it's just the, the, the starting of the year, and this is uh, we are actually in January. This is a, this is a, as I said, this is an opportunity, you know, what a lifetime opportunity. Yes, so, yes, it is. You, it, mm -hmm. Is there a phone right, number so, where uh, I can I'm, call myself and and um, call it myself and put in the account number? Yes, yeah, that what we um, as soon as the, whenever it's taken off hold, we're going to able to to have it put in to an account with your name that we're going to actually create an account under your name and we put it into an account where you can actually check it out. Um, the account that's actually in is it, it's the company you, account. You're breaking up. So just have to, have to. The account is what? Okay, well, uh, what we're going to do is that as soon as the, the hold has been taken off of the account, we're going to open an account with your name on, on it and throw the money so you can able to get an account to check it. The account that is actually in now is the company account. So uh, your name is just attached to it. So the money is sent under the, the company account. Oh. Right? 
Okay. And, oh, um, I and see. That, that, that account, and give that account to somebody because it's a company account. So we can wait until the code has been taken off the account and you're going to open one under your name. So you can be able to call and check it. Oh, okay. Okay. All but- right. All right. Well, yeah. that sounds fine. Right. Well, is there anything so else to... I need to know? Um, no, not from here. We're just waiting on the on the uh, Federal Reserve Board first for them to to uh, do whatever process they're doing, so they could give us to go ahead to take it on hold. And whenever it's been taken, that's where the money is going to be able to have an account, and you can uh, the check can be able to write out to you and so forth. So I'm just waiting on them. All right, and right. they finish talking, they give you. First. Um, I think that they have something that has to do with um Federal Reserve, not Federal. I'm sorry. Um, I think it's a state approval stamps or something. So you have to oh. them about. Okay, well I'll call. I'll call okay. Mr. Bentley so, then. Let me yeah. ask you: If I were to leave that money yeah. at Morgan Stanley, uh, what type of uh, mutual fund? Okay. Uh, would you recommend? Oh, okay. Well, I think that it would be good to um, put into an investment account. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have what? Do you have a top? Performing fund that you would recommend? All right. Um, yes, I think so. I think I would recommend you. Okay, hold on just a few seconds. Let me see which one I could recommend you to. Oh, okay. Hold on just a few seconds. Look at that. Okay. So you do have an investment account, correct? Uh, yes, I do with Vanguard. Yes, I can. Um, I realize that you actually do have an um, investment account. Um, well, the best account, I think it would be better for you to put it into one of her IA or cash account. And as an investing, um, it's a wonderful it's one of her best. Um, earning um, investment. Oh, okay. I'll have to take a look at that. Can you tell me what the difference is yeah. in the um, the Vanguard 500 and the S&P 500? Um, the Vanguard? Yeah, the difference between the What's Vanguard the 500. What? Yeah, the be- the difference between the Vanguard 500 and the S&P 500. Oh, the Vanguard. I would have to look up a Vanguard to how they're investing. Well, uh, uh, don't you don't you offer the Vanguard, Vanguard 500 too? Um, no. Uh, you said that you're with Vanguard, right? Uh, yes. Oh, he's googling hard to get this information. Okay. Um. Well, I think it's because they actually um give a, a large public trade uh you firm. Uh, once you're actually with the, um, because you have the S&P 500. Is that is that the one that you with? Yeah, uh, yes. I was wondering what the main the main difference is between the the Vanguard 500 and the S&P 500. Okay. Well, it's no, it's, it's not a big difference between. Them. Oh, okay. I don't see. I don't see where you have a big difference to it. And what I can do, I can actually talk to one of her investors mm-hmm. and um and have him call you. And he can actually, and he can actually give you all the information on that. All right, oh. and you can actually do some investment here. All right. Oh my, you, that would be. That's okay. Uh, um, that would be great. That would be yeah, really I have, great. Because it's people. it's so it's so much I money, you know. Yeah, yes, I know, I know. Um, well, I'm as long as this, um, it will be our pleasure to have you here. So I Could you, actually have one of those. Um, in this office, would it be know? possible to have Mr. J.P. Morgan call me? Uh, J.P. Morgan. You know, you know, um, Morgan family is not the same as J.P. Morgan. You know, right? Oh, I thought it was. Is well, could you have Mr. Yeah. Stanley call um, me? I, I, yeah, I can. As I said before, I can have a, an investor call, and they can actually talk to you on on you investing here. Okay, because okay. with all that money, I'd like to talk to the top person. So if I could talk to. Mr. Morgan Stanley himself, I would yes, appreciate no that. I'll try to do what I can do. Uh, no problem about it. I'll make sure that I get this a lot of money. Um, um, though, we'd like to have it invested in. Yes, I want. Investing here would be, you know, one of the better. Yes. yes. Okay. Very good. So, well, thank uh, you. A lot of people. A lot of people have. A lot of people. Have, you're welcome. A lot of people have us about J.P. Morgan, but they didn't. They don't know that we are not affiliated with J.P. Morgan. Um, it's a it's a different bank. Oh, okay. You know, it's, okay. Uh, Morgan. Yeah, it's, it's kind of I understand. So it's kind of a, it's very different. It's a different oh, bank. are they related? Right. They're not really related. Other other than just oh. um, we basically do the same same thing, but we're not really related. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, have maybe Mr. Morgan Stanley can call me and and uh, tell me which I don't know much about these things. He can tell me. Uh, where I should put the money. I know, Bob. Yeah, they will help you out with that all the way through. Uh, okay. Have people can help you out all the way through that, and they will explain it down to the core of it uh, to let you understand it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you uh, so much. Okay. So we can um, 
You're welcome. You're welcome. And um, you can give Mr. Bentley a call and uh, so you can actually go from there. And as soon as everything is okay here and your money is available, um, you're going to actually get somebody wonderful to talk to, to to know how you can invest your money. All right. I'm, well, I'm going to make sure of that. Well, that sounds great. I really appreciate your call. Tell me your name again, sir. Kevin. Kevin McAllister. First name is Kevin. K-E-V-I-N. Last name is McAllister. M-C-C-A-L-L-I-N-E-R. Okay. Well, I wrote that down. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate the call. Okay. You're welcome. All right. Thank okay, you. Okay. You're welcome and have a great day. You too, sir. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No. Okay. All right. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine. Is this Mr. Bentley? Yeah, it's Mr. Bentley. Hi, uh-huh, this is Mary Ellis. I just got off the phone with uh, Mr. McAllister from uh, Morgan yeah. Stanley. And um, looks Good. like everything is all set up over there. <laughs> Yes, the year three point five million was transferred yesterday from the Federal Reserve Bank to the Bank of America. All right. So now the only thing leave is for us to get your certified issue check picked up. So uh I was checking on the, the other lucky winner. How much did they uh how much was their fee for their government state of approval stamp? And I see where it was actually uh four thousand dollars. So I I actually contact the president to find out how much is for years. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm waiting for him to get back to me. But uh, it's somewhere around uh, twenty five hundred to three thousand five hundred. All right. Oh, oh, OK. All right. I can take care of that. OK. <clears throat> All right. So I'm just waiting on him to call me back. He said I should give him five minutes and uh, he will let me know how much exactly it is all right okay all right all right um, and what you're gonna do you're gonna write a check to the licensed merchant banker you can just write a personal check to the licensed merchant banker and i'll give you the name and address for you to mail it off to an overnight mail all right oh okay all right yeah, all right Sudi. All right, so uh, stay close to the phone. Just give me five uh, to ten minutes, and I'll call you back. Okay, that sounds fine. Thank you so much. All right. All right, bye-bye. Hello? Yeah, it's Mr. Bentley. Yes, sir. All right. All right, do you have a pen and a paper close by so I can provide you with information? Okay, uh, one second. Yes. All right, the name of the, the licensed merchant banker is how. Let me spell that for you. That's H-A-L. That's the first name. H-A-L. H-A-L. Right. H-A-L. Okay. Last name. Then, yeah. All right. That's the last name. And, and the, the address is 71 Lady Lake, Florida. Mm, okay. That's right. All right. So he's the person that you're going to write a personal check to for 3500 All right. 3500 uh, The name that is, yeah, the name that should go on the check is how. And he's the same person you're going to mail the check to at uh, the, 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 the FedEx or the post office. All right. Okay. Um. All right. And then once I mail that, then what? After you mail that, then we will be able to pick up your certified issue check and you can call me here like a millionaire, put on your million dollar jacket and your million dollar boot to meet us in person because you're going to be a full time millionaire. (laughs) Yes. It's so exciting. Yes, sweetie. Pardon me? It's so exciting. It is. It is. And this is a very, it's a dream come true. All right. So I, I want to walk you through the step of everything to make sure you have everything correct because we can't make any mistakes. So could you verify back uh, the correct spelling and everything that I just gave to you? Yes. So yes. I can make sure it's correct. It's the first name is Hal, H A L. And then the address, yeah. at Lady Lake, Florida. Wonderful. You have it correct. Is it possible for you to write the check now while I'm on the line? Uh, well, my checkbook is, is uh, in my purse. I'll have to get it out and do that. Um, and once I write it and mail it, uh, uh, do I have to wait for it to be received in order to get my prize? Or does the prize come right away? I'm not sure. I'd have to find out uh, from the bank. Um, because if you I'd could... I'd have to call. Yeah, if you could find out, I'd appreciate it because 
that's only about an hour away from me. I could drive it there. Oh, I, I see. All right. Well, uh, what you could do, just mail it. I think once you mail it, you will receive. We will be able to pick up the check right away. All right. Oh, OK. Well, uh, I didn't want to put you through the stress of driving, doing a hour drive. So uh, I know that once you send it off due to the fact that it's a hour away from you, mm -hmm. they will have you receive the check right away. Yeah. Uh, I can also do it using my online banking. I could uh, do it as a as a wire transfer and do it right away. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to get the account then for uh -huh. to wire transfer too. Well, then I could do it right away. I'm a little nervous okay. mailing a check that big. Okay, uh, so maybe I could just do it that way. Okay, no problem. All right, so let me let me get what and what information are you going to need to do the wire transfer? Just the account and routing number and the name of the person? Yeah, that's that's all it takes. Okay, and you don't think you're going to have any problem with your bank doing that? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so at all. Okay. All right, and uh, let me call them and get the information and call you back. Give me around five minutes, all right? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, bye-bye. Hello? Yeah, it's Mr. Bentley. Uh, which bank are you going to do the wire transfer from? Um, I use Bank of America. Okay, all right. Let me call you back. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, Hello? Mr. Bentley. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's Mr. Ben. I'm ready now. All right. So the information for the wire transfer, let me give you the account number. Okay. All right. The, the account number is 17387. Okay. And the routing number is 201. All right. Six, seven. Okay. Uh, the, the... Right. Mm -hmm. And the name of uh, the name of the person on the account is Ryan, because this account accepts wire transfer. Oh, All right. Okay. Uh, so it's not Mr. Hal. No. Okay. This one is the one that they use for wire transfer. The name of the bank is uh, Trust Bank. That's T-R-U-I-S-T. Trust Bank. Okay. Do you think you need the address for the bank? Not the bank, but I have to have the account holder address. Oh, you the account holder address. Yeah. Okay. Uh don't don't get off the line. I'm gonna Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna contact them. Just stay on the line and let me contact them and see okay. if I can get it, all right? All right. Okay, I have it. All right. All right. All right, it's uh, 2 and 1, uh, South North. South North? Do I just put S in or spell it out? Uh, the first one you're going to put just an S abbreviation mm -hmm. and a comma, and then you're going to spell out North. Okay, all right. And it's uh, Myrtle, that's M-Y-R-T-L-E. Okay. Myrtle. Beach. Okay. That's B E A C H. All right. You have Myrtle Beach? Yes, sir. You have Myrtle Beach? Yes. South Carolina. Just put a SC abbreviation for South Carolina. Okay. SC abbreviation for South Carolina. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the zip code is 295A2. 295. Okay. And just for uh, just for protection to make sure everything is correct, could you run by the account number one more time? Yes, sir. One, four. Great. That's wonderful. You have everything correct. All right. Okay. So you're going to go on your phone or on your computer? My computer. My computer. Okay. All right. So uh, 3500 once you have a transfer, you give me back a call. Yes. All sir. right. I sure will. Thank you. Okay. I'll, All right. Bye -bye. I'll wait on your call. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. In this episode, you heard about two receivers, Mr. Hal and Mr. Ryan. Mr. Hal is an 83-year-old man.
His information has been turned over to victim advocates who will make every effort to contact him to help him disconnect from these horrible scammers. We're going to find that he is a victim that they have manipulated into laundering money for them. It's very sad. Hopefully the victim advocates can help him. Mr. Ryan is someone we believe is working with the scammers or possibly a scammer himself. His bank account was reported. Chances of the bank being frozen are great. That will hurt. Look for a link to part three at the end of the video and in the description. See you next time.